Hi, and welcome to Great Getaways. On today's show, we're taking you to Michigan Central Upper Peninsula, where we're going to show you some fun fishing opportunities. We're not going to be teaching you how to fish, but we are going to show you some of the great lakes that you and your family can come up to, catch all kinds of fish, and also have a great fish dinner, too. we got a lot coming up, so let's get started. Production of Great Getaways is made possible by Rocky's Great Outdoors, located in Burton, Michigan. Rockies carries a complete line of motorcycles, snowmobile, camping, and hiking gear, including canoes and kayaks. State Building Company, serving mid-Michigan for over 50 years, with quality windows, insulation, roofing, and siding, including complete residential and commercial remodeling. Forward Corporation, operating over 30 complete convenience centers, motels, and restaurants across Northeast Michigan. In Michigan's Upper Peninsula, there is a treasure trove of fresh water and inland lakes. Most lakes have very little fishing pressure. With a few clear water fishing basics, where we guarantee you will land a whole lot of fishing fun and enjoyment, not to mention some very tasty dinners. Launching from one of the public boat ramps on Indian Lake, we're ready to start our ultimate fishing vacation in the Manistique area. Indian Lake is a favorite of anglers as walleye, northern pike, rock bass, and smallmouth bass have won three State of Michigan Master Angler Awards. Here's hoping we will be that successful today. In any case, this is a great day for fishing and we're happy to be on the water. We were fortunate enough to go out fishing with a couple of fellas that know the lake quite well. Carl Lightcap and Dennis Green, a DNR park ranger. These guys spend a lot of time on Indian Lake, especially Carl, who is the Indian Lake State Park camp host. Talk to Carl. He'll not only tell you where to go, but he'll give you directions. There is some great fishing on this 8,659 acre lake. It's the fourth largest lake in the UP. It did not take long for us to get our first catch. The lake abounds with cool water fish, including musky, northern pike, walleye, and large and smallmouth bass. All right, bass. that looks like a good one. Panfish populating the lake are perch, bluegill, sunfish, rock bass, and bullheads. Thanks to the DNR, Indian Lake is stocked with a total of 13,000 plus walleye per year. Satisfied with a morning of fishing, we head back to Manistique for a quick lunch. There is a drive-in there that we stop at as often as possible. Established in 1949, it is a nostalgic stop for great service and fantastic food, especially the infamous three-quarter pound Clyde's Burger. Oh. <laughs> Mmm, that was a good hamburger. You know, today you go into all these fast food joints, they don't even compare to this. When you're in here, Manistee, come down here to Clyde's, you're gonna enjoy this burger. Al Misniakowitz, owner of the Ocona Lodge Lakeshore in Manistee, would be our guide down the river for some incredible bass fishing. Al caught one after the other as the rain came down. It didn't bother him a bit. We watched from the shelter of our covered boat. We didn't catch as many fish, but we were dry. It is a popular fishing area from your watercraft, but also from the shore, as there are several spots that provide shore fishing opportunities that include public access piers along the river. There also are ADA compliant piers accessible by boardwalk from the boat launch facility. The river provides brook, brown, rainbow, and steelhead trout, plus great smelt runs in the spring. Below the upper dam, there is a long weightable flume which contains rapids and broken rocks where you'll find the steelhead and chinooks during their spawning runs. Today, the bass were taking the bait. Fresh air, fresh fish, and a big appetite put us in search of dinner. Well, this is one of our stops on our all fishing show. Now, I know that doesn't look like a lake, but they got some great fish dinners here. Let's go in and take a taste. 
Built in the 1930s, the Jack Pine Lodge is nestled on 40 acres surrounded by the Hiawatha National Forest. The campground includes sites to accommodate large RVs, plus four pull-through sites. With 55 lakes within 15 miles of the lodge, it's a perfect spot for your fishing headquarters. Well, I've been thinking about these great fish dinners and I, I hear so much about around here. Now, where does the fish come from? Well, we are, our primary source right now is out of Lake Michigan, uh, whitefish. We also do uh, have uh, supplies out of Lake Superior that we can get. The one thing I wanted to remind you of, this is only one stop along the way. We're going to be stopping at three different restaurants. We're going to give you a chance to vote online which one you like the best, but we really hope that you'll come up here and try it out for yourself. You're I'm next. Ready. You're next. I'm ready. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, this is good. It's light, it's crispy, it's not, wow. This is amazing. It is very, very good. The taste is really good. Buttery. I'm going to have to come here more often yeah. on Wednesdays. Oh, yeah. We're just east of the town of Manistique right now. We brought you out to Gulliver Lake, a great little lake, about an 800 acre lake. And uh, what do you say we get the boat ready and get this thing started? This is a really nice place, nice facilities here, nice launch that goes out onto the lake. The lake's about, as I said, about 800 acres. It's got all kinds of different fish in it. There's smallmouth, there's pike, there's walleye, variety of panfish. It's great for the whole family to come out here. We're going out today, we're gonna to give it a try. Just keep in mind, we're not a fishing show. We're not gonna teach you how to fish. We're just gonna show you some of the great lakes that you can fish when you come up here. And if I don't quit talking, we're never gonna get out there. Gulliver Lake can be described as a pristine lake teeming with fish waiting to be caught. After preparing the boat for an easy launch into the lake, we went out to find a good school of fish. We were successful when ice fishing on this lake, so we're going to try our hand at catching some big bass or maybe we'll land the monster northern pike we've been dreaming of. Historically, getting a bite here is good, but to quote an unknown author, a bad day of fishing is better than a good day of work. But wait, fishing is our work for this show. We're pretty fortunate to have the boat as our office on days like today. The view of the forested shores is inviting, and though not far from human habitation, Gulliver Lake offers a real UP remote fishing experience. Well, one of the things we like to do when we're fishing is have fun. You know, whether we're out there in the lake catching some fish or we like to come in and cook up a little. We got some brats up here today and we just stopped in to cook ourselves a little meal. Enjoy the sights here. Now, we're lucky today because the wind is actually coming out of the south, southeast. And that leaves this uh, state park where the water out in front of us is just calm. It's real nice down here. We're right by one of the beautiful pavilions that they have here. We're the only ones around. And... Uh, we're gonna cook ourselves up a little meal here and really enjoy ourselves. Tomorrow, we will go back on Indian Lake and see what fishing conditions are like. Right from the get-go, we were rocking the bass. Maybe our success is because we have maintained a positive attitude. Even the best anglers have slow stretches, but persistence pays off and we were eventually rewarded. Boy, the fish are feisty today. We were careful not to let them rest because even a small amount of rest can give fish a second wind and double the amount of time it takes to reel them in. While experiencing the thrill of fishing, it's a good time to reflect on the personal benefits such as stress relief. Nothing brings on the sense of being alive and rebuilding our personal reserves like a day spent interacting with nature especially in the beautiful Schoolcraft County fishing area. Fishing is good for your health. The exercise that comes with fishing can increase the quality of your lifestyle and add years to your life. Also, it offers you the chance to improve your self-esteem through respect for the environment, mastering outdoor skills, 
and achieving personal goals. Fishing is a lifetime skill and activity that can be enjoyed at any age. The guys had an agreement that when one person catches a fish, the other person would grab the camera. Well, it seems every time that Tom picked up a rod, Denny would catch a fish. Tom would grab the camera, and he never had a chance to cast a plug. These weren't just any fish. They were three and four pound smallmouth. After Denny had caught five of these beauties, Tom had had enough, and he refused to pick up the camera. Well, we all know how Tom's fishing prowess is. Tom, don't feel too bad. At least you get to have a delicious fish dinner. We're getting ready to go back in now. We've had a great day out here on the lake. As you can see, it has been the nicest day. We've got the wind blowing, the temperature's not real great. Overcast skies, not another soul out here. And, and yet, Denny <laughs> caught all kinds of fish. I spent most of my time coming from the front to get to the back, to get the camera, to catch him, get him catching fish. Every time I got back up, this is my excuse, every time I got back up front and I only made a cast or two and I had to run back again because he shot for another one on it. Some beautiful smallmouth bass, a nice walleye. That one, uh, we messed around too long at the boat and it got away, we, but... Uh, we? You messed around? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I was going to make him lose some of those fish. <laughs> Tell, tell our viewers yeah. if the camera works, sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I was too busy looking at the fish he was catching. That was it. <laughs> but some nice fish and some great fish. And this this lake is like that. You can come out here and we were out here uh, yesterday and and not a thing. Couldn't catch anything. And come out here today and just uh, nailed. I, I don't know how many did you get? Five five smallmouth and six smallmouth. There was a, that little one too. And then uh, a walleye. So that's, that's a good day, I don't care. And these were nice smallmouth. Playing off the UP weather joke, the Three Seasons Cafe is the second restaurant in our best eating fish pole. Connie Winch and I are making our second stop in the restaurants where we're trying to find the best fish here in Manistique. And uh, right now I'm sitting here with Brenda and Brenda is an owner here at the Three Seasons Cafe. Brenda, we're hearing some good things about the fish that you have here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Well, certainly, at the Three Seasons Cafe, we have beautiful fish. We have whitefish, walleye, cod, and perch. You can get it pan-fried, broiled, or deep-fried. And it's really good. And our whitefish is local, fresh fish from Jensen's Fishery. It's really good. OK, because we're going to test it out tonight, and we're going to ask all our viewers to vote on it and see what they think for the best restaurant. Okay. You guys ready for this? This is Dee, she's gonna bring you some fish. Oh, ah, oh, we got fish coming already. Oh, that looks delicious. This one's the pan fried, deep fried, and this one's the broil. Oh, okay. look at this. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, well, that's like good. Broil? That's yeah. really good. I like all of them. That's my mm -hmm. problem, is I like all kinds of fish. Mm -hmm. I grew up with fish, so I like fish. And Boy, what what do you got there? The this is the deep fried, and it's very good. <laughs> You're already on it, huh? No, I'm, not. Oh, yeah, I'm, not. <laughs> I'm just glad I had my mouth empty because uh, the last time you guys asked me about fish, I was kind of nonverbal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we just finished up dinner, and I'll tell you what, it was fantastic, the whole thing. But I can already make my vote, because, uh, you know, from the minute I tasted that pan-fried fish that you had, I, I don't know why I knew right then, that that was the one that really, for me, that was the taste. Good. 
And I loved all the others, but I kept going back to that. that your favorite. <laughs> it really was. Now, Brenda, is this something that uh, you have fish dinners all the time? We serve fish all week, but on Friday night we have a special fish fry, and it's really crowded here. Friday nights is hard to get in. We have people waiting at the door on Friday nights. What During time do you summer, start? We start at four in that. Well, we start at noon. You can start getting fish, but our dinners don't start till four. Okay. And during the summer, we serve till ten o'clock every night. Okay. Keep that in mind. Come on up here. You got to try this fish. Taking the boardwalk the rest of the way into Manistique brings us to the city of Manistique Marina. Protected from open water storms by the massive concrete and rock walls of the Manistique Harbor of Refuge. Manistique Municipal Marina welcomes all. The marina has 23 slips, including transient slips, broadside dockage, seasonal slips, and amenities, including electrical and water hookups, park, and picnic areas. It's officially open from Memorial Day weekend through Labor Day weekend and is connected to the nearby downtown Manistique via a walkway and is served by public transportation. If you are arriving by boat seeking refuge from inclement weather or wish to sample small town hospitality and recreation, this is the place to be. The marina is equipped with all the amenities and the friendly residents and needed services are mostly within one half mile of your slip. Well, I'm down here walking the Manistique Boardwalk right now. This is a trail we've told you about in the past and one I've been walking for years now. It's a beautiful trail that runs right along Lake Michigan. As you can see, we've got a beautiful day out here. Now, as you go along, it's a two mile trail. The trail actually runs from downtown out two miles. Now at downtown, you're gonna have a little harbor in there. You got a winery there. You got the Manistique River flowing into Lake Michigan from there. You start the trail there, you're gonna come down, you'll get to the lighthouse. You can actually walk out to the lighthouse. You have to be real careful, but you can get out there. Come down a little further, you're gonna find this park here. This is the Carl D. Bradley Park, and it's a memorial park. And let me tell you more about it, but let me take you over here. We're looking at the newest addition to this park. As a matter of fact, the name now reflects that. It's called the Carl D. Bradley Memorial Park. And the Carl D. Bradley was a Great Lakes freighter that's somewhere out that way. It's just off of Gow Island. It just had unloaded down at Gary, Indiana in 1958, October of 1958. It was sailing north. It hit a storm, 65 mile per hour winds, 20 foot waves. They radioed for help. It broke in half. The Coast Guard later found a life raft with two people in it. They were the only two survivors. We cannot recommend the Schoolcraft County Lakes area enough for your fishing getaway. It's an area full of friendly people, great beverages, and even better fish fries. Whether catching your own to take back to your place of lodging to slap them on your grill, or spending the day catching and releasing, you will experience UP fishing at its finest. If you're not sure what part of the lake the fish are biting in, be sure to stop in at one of the area bait shops for a map and some friendly advice. Now, you know, I've been coming into Manistee for a long time now, but, and I've always seen this store down here. Has it been around a long time? Yes, it has. My father started it in 1951. So it's been oh, it has been here a while then. Years. A great little sports shop, though. You've got all the things for people coming into town, going to do a little hunting, a little fishing, a variety of other things, too. Camping, marine. <laughs> so you've got so, pretty much everything in here. We try to. Okay. Well, I was kind of coming in. We're going to be doing some fishing up here. Kind of thinking maybe I could find out some of the lakes that uh, might be good fishing. Do you have any ideas for yeah. me? Indian Lake is a good lake. And then there's Gulliver Lake and McDonald Lake. Um, okay. They're up in 94. There's a lot of inland lakes. Oh, up in the National Forest? Yes. Yeah. Moose Neck Lake, Cowell Lake. Uh, pretty much if uh, I needed some gear, I need some different lures and stuff, I, I, you can come in here and get that kind of stuff. Yes, and we have live bait. Oh, you have the live bait too? Yep. That's good, because that comes in handy <laughs> a lot of times, I know. It's definitely worth the drive to come and fish the Schoolcraft County Lakes. Be sure to share your fish stories with us on our Facebook page. Of course, an accompanying photo will make them all the more credible. Right, Tom? 
Many in the Manistique area support themselves by the fishing industry, and that is good for the sports fishermen out there catching and releasing who want to bring some fish home. So Mike, this is where you get all your fresh white fish from. Yep, this is Jensen's Fishery. Okay. Jensen. Hi Mike. How you doing Arlene? Nice to meet you. This is Tom. Uh -huh. and now, has your fishery been here a long time? Um, it's been here. Gosh, they've been fishing for like forever, but I've been running this place for maybe six years now. Okay. If not okay. longer, it seems like forever. But so, <laughs> they're out every day catching yeah, fish, though. Yeah. Okay. Every day, something's really bad or too much ice in the winter. Okay, so you got good Basically. fresh fish in here, though. Yeah. And, and I see you've got a variety of different types of uh, fish and the way you produce. Uh, yeah. You've got some smoked well, and. We do the smoked fish here too and pickled fish. And okay. And, then, and you're open to the public so anybody can come in here. Yeah, I am. Yeah. So, so when you come in, we're just outside of town um, and you can come in here. You'll see the sign uh, over the building for Jensen's Fishery. Yeah. Pull in, get yourself some fresh fish. As you can see, and I'll tell you what, we're here and you're picking up fish. What, what are you getting? We're getting white fish, fresh white fish. So this is the reason though that uh, this kind of a fresh fish that you can come down here and, and take it back to your restaurant? Yes, this is going to be served tonight. You can't get any more fresh than this fish. Okay. How much do you usually go through? Uh, anywhere from 15 to 25 pounds. Okay. Yeah, you must order ahead of time. Yep. <laughs> yep, I got it all ready for it. Let's take a look at it, Arlene. Oh, okay. I've got it in my cooler, but here's the bill. Got to get to get there. <laughs> okay, got it all wrapped up, and there's the fillets. Wow, very nice. Those look good, too. Well, you know they're fresh. Yeah, they sure do, and they look, oh, how would you like to have that in your freezer? Nice. <laughs> It's time for one last fish dinner before ending this fantastic fishing show. Popular with tourists and locals, the Big Spring Inn is located near the Palm Book State Park and Kitchety Kippy Springs on State Road M149 off US 2. It has a varied menu, but we were anxious to try the beer battered fish. Well, there's a lot of beer on tap including Michigan brews and plenty of televisions to watch your favorite sport teams. In this central part of the UP, that could mean you're a Packer fan, or a Lion fan, or both, depending on who's winning. The newly remodeled inn has a supper club feel to it and is the perfect place to meet up with friends and share your fishing and vacation stories. Well, I've got our judges back with me tonight. Connie and Winch are here. They're gonna help us out. And I also got Al to come with us tonight too. You've seen him on the show already. He helped us do a little bit of fishing over in the Manistique River. We came here tonight to try one of these great fish dinners that I've been hearing about. But what about the rest of your menu? What else have you got here? Uh, we have uh, excellent perch and uh, one of the best blue cheeseburgers you'll ever have. Well, oh, Mike, dynamite. we got the uh, beer battered here tonight. <laughs> What's so special about it? Well, it's special is uh, it's the same beer batter that this place had for maybe 30, 40 years, and it's local fish supporting okay. our local industry. Now, uh, what goes into a beer batter? Uh, that's top secret. Uh, okay, <laughs> understandable because I tell you, it's really good. <laughs> And I'm gonna go ahead and eat. Why not tweet us about your experience at the Big Spring Inn to Great Getaways at Great Getaways TV. After watching today's show, you'll want to obtain more information on fishing in Manistique. It's available for free. Just fill in the contact information by visiting our website shown on your screen. Also, be sure to go online and place your vote for your favorite fish dinner from the three restaurants we visited on our fishing experience. We really enjoy your comments, so be sure to let us know what you thought about today's show. We have a travel planner set up for your own great getaway, and be sure to visit our Facebook page and Pinterest and Twitter accounts often. Your online adventure will be just the start of your next great getaway. Well, I hope you enjoyed our fun fishing show. You know, it took us a while to put it together. We started in the middle of summer and uh, we're now into the fall. We've visited some great lakes up here, 
had some fantastic fishing, got smallmouth bass, walleye, pike, just had a great time. And as you can see, <laughs> there's fish all over the place. We're up here in Manistique, Michigan, and we're getting the freshest fish that you can get anywhere. It's in the water in the morning, it's on your platter at night. Can't have it any better than that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Production of Great Getaways is made possible by Rocky's Great Outdoors. Located in Burton, Michigan, Rocky's carries a complete line of motorcycle, snowmobile, camping, and hiking gear, including canoes and kayaks. State Building Company, serving mid-Michigan for over 50 years, with quality windows, insulation, roofing, and siding, including complete residential and commercial remodeling. Forward Corporation, operating over 30 complete convenience centers, motels, and restaurants across Northeast Michigan.